Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Top 912 giving you another recipe. This recipe here is a sweet potato pudding. I got the idea of this recipe from a guy I used to work with and he used to tell me about it. How his uh, mom used to make it all the time at the family gatherings and he always had my mouth watering for it but he never did come through with bringing some to me to taste for myself. So I went out on a limb and I found all the ingredients that I need. I'm going to make my own today and I'll, we're just going to see how this turns out. This is my first time trying it so we're going to go and go from there and see what we got going. So the ingredients for the day, the main ingredients is sweet potato. That is two super jumbo sized sweet potatoes, about the biggest sweet potatoes you can buy in the grocery store. And I peeled them and then I grated them up with my box grater. I got some brown sugar, some white sugar, heavy whipping cream, some Nestle's table cream, some vanilla flavor, lemon flavor, allspice, nutmeg, cinnamon, eggs, and butter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a third of that block of butter, one tablespoon of the cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice, one tablespoon of the lemon, two tablespoons of the vanilla. This whole can is basically eight ounces of the uh, Nestle's table cream, and then another eight ounces of the heavy whipping cream, one cup of brown sugar, and one cup of white sugar. I'm going to melt that butter, blend all those ingredients together, whip them in the bowl, taste it to see if I like that. If I don't, I'll add a couple things until I get it to the flavor I want. Once I get that flavor I want, I'm going to crack those eggs and whip it into it. And then once I get that whipped up good, I'll put the potatoes in and mix it up good until I get a good saturation of the potatoes in until I get the potatoes mixed up and blended well into that wet mixture. Once I get that together, I will uh, put it in a greased pan and put it in the oven. I'm going to bake it in the oven at 400 degrees until the top gets you know, kind of firm to the point where you can touch it and it bounces back. That's when you'll know that it's going to be done. So I'm going to just cook it in the oven until I get that consistency. And then we'll take it out and get a sample and see how it turns out. This is my first time trying this recipe, so if it doesn't work out like I want, I will try it again. But this is my first attempt, and I'll be back with you in a little while. Alright, so here is the mixture after I've got the eggs whipped in there. Like I said, I, before I put the eggs in, I mixed all those other ingredients at those ratios that I stated previously. And I think the flavor came out just like I wanted it. So I didn't have to adjust anything at this point. So then I mixed in those four eggs. And this is uh, between that heavy cream, you know, the more you whip heavy cream, the tighter it's going to get. And that table cream is also really thick. With those eggs, this is a very viscous solution. So it's going to have a good coating when I mix those uh, potatoes in there. So now I'm going to just take the potatoes and dump them in the bowl. and just start to mix those together. Once I get it all mixed together, I'll pan, put it in the uh, greased Pyrex dish and slide it on in the oven. But I'll give you a before picture and an after picture so we'll you can uh, compare and contrast together. Alright folks, here it is. Sweet potato pudding. I uh, pressed on it and I stuck a butter knife in it. The knife came out clean and when I pressed it bounced back so I knew that it was done after that. You can see on the top it has a nice golden brown crust. So at this point, I'm going to uh, cut me a square, plate it up and eat it just as it is, and hope it tastes as good as I imagine. Sweet potato pudding. Pop a top 912.